Welcome back everyone. In the last video, I showed you how to convert a Creality 10S into a functioning bioprinter. We modified the extrusion system so that it could handle printing different biomaterials at different viscosities. We also made a cellulose acetate solution, which is a commonly used bioink. If you haven't seen that video, the link will be in the description below. In this video, I'll be showing you how to modify the software so that you can handle printing in this video, I will show you how to print a basic tubular structure. So let's get into it. Now that we have the file on the SD card, we can insert it into the printer and then print from there. So, insert it into the printer, turning it on. As you can see, it's booting up now. We'll just go to the print from SD card menu. And as you can see, we have the file here, and we should be ready to print. So as you can see here, after the print, which took around an hour, we have a final product which has a one inch diameter and is around a quarter of an inch tall. Using the pneumatic systems that we've implemented in these videos, we are able to print what could serve as the scaffolding of organs in a very cost efficient way. That is all for now. I will see you guys soon in my next video.